Hey, Steve Zook here. Welcome back to Folks Your Channel and the Guitar Letter System. I'm just messing around. It's really important to improvise every day, folks. Hey, today's subject matter is, is tr I'll be honest about it, you know, the, the guitar ladder system is one of the most difficult things I've ever had to explain because art is different than like rebuilding a car engine or something, which is, I'm not very good at things like that. I, I'm, I'm not bad with guitars and electronic stuff like stereo audio gear and things like that and pretty good at some, you know, stuff with guitar. I'm not a luthier. And, I don't do guitar repair, but I'm, I've, I've actually been doing some work on some of my art shops lately. But my point is, I, I have to laugh. I see these guitar instruction videos. Oh, there's a thing that I call guitar limbo and all the, well, whatever, man. You know, like, I mean, if you really want to really dive deep into your own subconscious mind, it's like guitar meditation. The guitar ladder system is light years ahead of anything else. Um, basically, because I studied with Joe Pass when I was young. I studied with Horace Hatchett, who taught Howard Roberts, who started GIT, which is now Musicians Institute in North Hollywood. Um, I, I took a few lessons from Ted Green. But my point to all this is that my guitar ladder system is kind of passing the torch. Because when I took from Horace Hatchett, he did a lot of chordal work. Um, this guitar is three grand, by the way. <laughs> I just dropped it down from about four grand. It's like a super 400 or something. It's just, it's amazing. Anyway, I'm really going to miss it. Here's a diminished. But what the reason... I say passing the torches because, you know, when I studied with Joe Pass, he, he didn't really have a system that much. He was talking about, well, the C position here and the C position here and stuff. But, you know, I kind of had to figure all this out by studying, by the different people I studied with. I studied with Horace, Horace Hatchett, I think, at least four times, a little bit from Joe Pass um, and some uh, Tony Rizzi and a few lessons from Ted Green. A um, long time ago, he liked my material, but we kind of blew each other's minds, actually. It was a really interesting uh, few lessons. Really enjoyed him as a person, as a human being, and he has a great sense of humor. But my point being is that from studying, and I started studying with Joe Pass in my early 20s. I'm 68 now, but over the years doing a lot of private teaching, I, I kind of noticed what worked and what didn't work, and I noticed what type of results different students were getting, depending also on their level of talent or lack of natural talent. And when I started seeing people that, and I, I can tell, I can hear somebody play for, you know, 40, 50 seconds and talk to them a little bit and get a pretty good feel for how good they're ever, at least I thought that I had a good feel for this, for how good they'd ever be and how fast they'd grow and how fast they'd learn. And I thought I had a really good feel for it. And then I started getting students that, that obviously didn't have a lot of natural talent that were making quantum leaps. And this, this is not BS. I, I saw students 
that just, you know, had very little natural talent. They didn't come from musical families. Their parents didn't play an instrument at all. They played the stereo, you know. Uh, but I started noticing students having quantum leaps that was, I was kind of scratching my head saying, this is, this is kind of weird, you know. And I began to realize, and then I've been doing transcendental meditation for 37 years, and I'm really into consciousness development and neuroscience and the way the subconscious mind learns and the way that we feed the subconscious mind or program it, or whether that's negative or positive, by the way. And I started, you know, listening to other people like like Pat Metheny's really in the neuroscience. I saw a really good show with him and two or three neuroscientists, and they were saying that when you listen to music, it 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 only it, it goes into your ear and really quickly transfers into um, kind of like you know uh, an electrical signal that becomes becomes uh, you know part of it, like neurons and. And uh, it, it goes into a system where it's it's no longer like like the physical sound, and it goes into your subconscious mind and and and, and your, you know neurons and I don't have all the correct terminology for this, but it it goes into almost like a like a like a file in in your own subconscious mind, and uh, and when I when I began to see you know private students that. Um, <laughs> I saw private students that, that were just making crazy progress. I had one student I talk about a lot named Sean, where you know he was kind of maybe at the end of the beginner stage or somewhere, you know, beginning intermediate level guitar player. But he went from that in a year to playing all up and down the neck and playing standards and making up his own stuff. It, it was it was we became friends. And uh, but my point just being is that with the guitar ladder system. Um, the studies that you do go into your subconscious mind and then on a subconscious level because they get transferred really they get transferred really quick to kind of like files in, in, in your subconscious mind and this is why I, I my system is real right brain and and the, the lack of definition is one of the reasons it works because when you take everything and try to figure it out, you got. By the way, you got to let go of the control to use my system. You know, if you're somebody that wants to have everything and summaries and a bunch of explanations and a bunch of put everything in a box, I'm not for you. But if you can trust your own powerful subconscious mind and understand that all the different studies are almost like musical mantras, because your subconscious mind is is taking like cycle one. And it's going to compare and contrast. They say that everything you've ever seen or heard is stored away in your, in your powerful subconscious mind. So, and then with cycle two, we add some shading with the um, major seven, uh, major thirteen flat five chord, which you can cycle down, by the way. But this is heavy, man. Try to wrap your head around this. Whether you buy, whether you invest the 199, which is a steal, in my ladder system or not, try to wrap your head around this. I think a lot of people don't realize what I've come up with here. Is there's a hundred studies for 199. You get a video and a chart. But it's it's because I don't try to define it and I don't sit there and try to explain every study because that would then throw it more into kind of a left brain approach and. Um, you're not trusting your powerful subconscious mind. Your subconscious mind is going to remember this, you know, and it's it's going to uh, it's going to compare and contrast on a subconscious level. Because, like I said, there's a really neat thing on the internet. You might want to search Pat Metheny, neuroscientist, where they talk about that. That it's it's for just a brief amount of time that music goes into your ear but then boom it transfers into electrical signals and neurons and neural pathways well your subconscious mind begins to create neural pathways and compare and contrast all the different studies in my guitar ladder system so then when you're trying to listen and recognize your own musical ideas or somebody else's for that matter um, you know, you've got some, some, something to draw from, you know, the well is, is, is full of great information because your, your subconscious mind can, can be thinking 
and this is, this happens really quick. It's like a dream. You know, when you have one of these really advanced dreams where all this different stuff happens, it happens within, you know, like, you know, 20th of a second, you know, all those different scenes in the movie and the dream. I mean, our subconscious mind is so powerful, folks. And this is difficult to explain, but it really is, you know, it really is what the guitar ladder system is, is almost like musical mantras. You experience each, each study. Uh, and then because I don't sit there and go, okay, this is a four chord, this is a temporary modulation to B flat, this, you know, because you can't really define music. Music is kind of a, I mean, I, I have 10 systems of improvisation that you'll learn from doing my studies, but I don't drive you nuts or drive myself nuts at trying to explain it. I do have a video on YouTube. You can look up, look up Steve Zook, 10 systems of improvisation. But my point here is the reason the guitar ladder system has such almost supernatural results is because of the fact that we respect the subconscious mind. We don't insult it with a bunch of stuff. Now, I'm not saying it's not good to know some theory. I, I believe that, you know, it's good to know, you know, what a major seven is, what a dominant is, you know, what scales relate to what chords. It's good to learn chord melody. I, I'm not, I'm not trying to say that music theory doesn't have its place, but if you're into, if you're kind of a control freak and everything's real, you know, you're thinking nothing against engineers, but you're, you're kind of thinking, you know, okay, step one, step two, it's got to be step three, four, five, six, it's got to be real organized and summary, you know, you're, you're not going to learn it. I'm talking about the old school. That's why I'm saying passing the torch. I'm talking about more of an old school approach to learning improvisation. I'm not talking just jazz, by the way. If you marry a genre, you're going to limit yourself. And if you always think in terms of a genre, you're going to limit your subconscious mind's ability to understand music in general. Because I play flamenco, I play fusion, I play kind of Michael Hedges style acoustic. I do all kinds of things. And the reason I'm able to hear and find that stuff is because I've kept an open mind. So when I say I'm passing the torch, I'm talking about a way of learning. And this may not be for everybody, but if you really want to take a quantum leap, shave years off your playing, and you want to reach a level that you probably thought you never could reach because you're always telling yourself, well, I'm not as talented as my friend that learned real quick, or I don't have much musical talent in my family. It doesn't freaking matter. Uh, and I'm, this is really speaking from the heart here. I've seen students just take quantum leaps because they didn't have, they put their ego on the back burner uh, and didn't overanalyze. Didn't analyze at all my, uh, my material. So I'm talking the way Wes Montgomery learned to play guitar, ear training. I'm talking about the way Joe Pass learned guitar, ear training, improvisation, learning what, you know, this chord sounds like this chord using common tone. So what I'm saying is that the guitar ladder system, which is a huge value, I've had students drive over 200 miles and pay me 100 bucks a lesson for private lessons, but I'm tried, you know, the guitar ladder system is kind of my gift. For 199, it's a really great situation, and you don't have to read music, you don't have to, you know, there's no complicated theory. But it's, that's why it is the way it is, because I want that information to go into your ear, transfer quickly into, into neurons and files. It's, it's like we're creating a guitar learning file in your own subconscious mind, and you fill that file with information from my different studies. So this is chords in perfect force. So this is really hard to explain, but so when when you on a subconscious level have a musical idea or a thought, you have something to draw from to find it on your guitar because your subconscious mind, even when you're sleeping, can be like can be saying, oh well, let me see, this chord goes to this chord, this chord goes, you know, when we do this, it creates this kind of tension. When I, uh, Horace Hatchett used to call it the interior and exterior of chords. He said, you know, chordal improvisation is really the key to tremendous growth because your subconscious mind starts cataloging, you know, well, okay, this from here, this to here, and starts coming up with relationships uh, of this chord to this chord and what they sound like and what this voice does when it goes to this voice from this chord to this chord. Um, it's, this is a really important thing to wrap your head around whether you're going to invest in 199 you, you can buy it by the way at the guitar at 
stevesatguitars.com. Um, just scroll down the home page. But what I'm trying to explain to you is my guitar ladder system is based on years and years of hard work on my part, taking from some great teachers like Joe Pass, Ted Green, that I took from, you know, for a little bit, um, Horace Hatchett, who I say with four times. And now Horace Hatchett used to talk a lot about, he used to teach a lot of, you know, chordal studies, but it wasn't so much, um, you know, my guitar ladder system studies are like little musical pieces. And so they're a little sweeter. Here's a little bit of cycle eight. That's supposed to just only be on four notes. So my studies are very musical. And what happens is, like I said, when, when you listen to music, um, it's only an acoustic property for a little bit. And then it goes into your ear, goes into your brain, and boom, gets transferred into electrical signals and neurons and, and, and starts, you know, filling up like a file. So what we're doing with the guitar ladder system is we're creating a, like, like I said, like a file in your subconscious mind. And then that information compares and contrasts. And so when you're, um, and, and by the way, it's really important to improvise every day, work on improvisation, because that's how you begin to also explore possibilities of what of you being able to discover your own musical point of view or beginning to discover your own compositions. And this is nothing, this has nothing to do with making money or getting a record deal or, you know, don't put pressure, don't limit yourself and don't put pressure on yourself. Like, you know, and don't, don't be like, well, I just want to be a better guitar player. Like the joy of playing guitar and the joy of music is expressing yourself and discovering your own musical gifts. We, we're all unique. We all have, and, I don't, and I'm not, I don't care how complicated it is or how simple it is. I mean, Matheny, he, uh, he had a song, I, 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 I can't... He had a song where it was just two or three chords, but it was so pretty. But my point just being is that um, why not discover your own unique musical ideas that are buried deep within your subconscious mind? I mean, I'm a little happier than some of this other stuff out there um, because that's the joy of music. So what I'm saying is that the 100 studies in the guitar ladder system with a video, it's all designed to have a really simplistic presentation, but the results are really powerful because you're building a folder in your subconscious mind that musical ideas, almost like, like in, in transcendental meditation, which I've been doing for 37 years, I experience my mantra on a very subtle level. And by experiencing that mantra, there's a lot of benefits that come with the creativity, increased galvanic skin response. I mean, there's a lot of great people who have done transcendental meditation, by the way, Jerry Seinfeld, you know, talk show host, you know, even Howard Stern. There's a lot of very successful people, some of the richest people in the world. Like, like Jerry Seinfeld, he's a billionaire, right? But my point just being is that the guitar ladder system is kind of like musical meditation because you're, you're experiencing these chord studies and then your subconscious mind compares and contrasts and finds out, you know, what this chord going to this chord sounds like and what musical tension it creates. So you have a reservoir of musical knowledge that you can then draw from. So then when you're when, because the subconscious mind is so powerful and it's running the physiology of your body. So when you have, this is very difficult what I'm trying to explain here. I'm trying to explain how a musical thought can come to manifestation and actualize in your own playing with your guitar. So this is, this is not an easy thing to explain, but I, I, I think I'm doing an okay job here. So try to open your mind and, and, and have a positive attitude about absorbing this information is that by doing the guitar ladder studies, <clears throat> you're creating a reservoir of musical knowledge about the guitar and the guitar neck, how to go up and down the guitar neck in, in, in chordal, uh, you know, studies and improvisation. Uh, and you're learning how to create different kinds of moods and tension and resolution. You give, you're giving your subconscious mind a reservoir of knowledge, which it then, uh, when you have one of your own unique musical ideas, even if it's unconscious, you have one of those. <clears throat> you have a much better chance of it manifesting because you've given yourself a reservoir of knowledge. It'd be just like if you were, um, 
there was a Star Trek where somebody stole Spock's brain, the old Star Trek, and then they had to put it back. And, but they had this dome thing that went over somebody's head that, that could Im immediately, you know, not immediately, but it could, you know, could give them all the knowledge within like a minute and a half. So McCoy, the, you know, the, the medical officer for for Star Trek, um, put this hat on, and all of a sudden he's like, "Oh, it's child's play. I can, I can rewire, you know." put Spock's brain back in and rewire all the, the things I have to rewire and the nerve endings and he goes, it's child's play because he, he had that reservoir of knowledge. It's kind of the same thing with the guitar ladder system. Uh, you get all this information and then you, you uh, compare and contrast on a subconscious level and then when you have a, an idea for a musical thought, even if it's subconscious and you don't even know about it, your brain can find it. Because I've had students come in after working the guitar ladder system for a while, and all of a sudden they show me some piece. And I'm like, that's unbelievable. Where'd you, that is so cool. Where'd you get that from the internet? No, I made it up, you know? So, you know, if you just want some cute, uh, if you want some cute little system, I mean, I'm talking about diving deep, folks, okay? I'm, and don't let it scare you. It doesn't, you know, don't, don't let, don't let the results get in the way of you diving deep in your own subconscious musical mind. It's not about getting a record deal. It's not about making money. I'm talking the joy of being creative. I'm talking the joy of making progress on the guitar. I'm talking the joy without worrying about results. I'm talking about the joy of finding some of your own musical ideas, you know, noodling and all of a sudden coming up with something, well, that's really cool. It makes you happy. You're like, where'd that come from, you know? That's because you've built a reservoir of musical ideas that your subconscious mind can reference off of so it can then find what you're hearing. Whew, this, this is really difficult to explain. But I've, uh, I've seen it over oh, this guitar size. And uh, like I said, you're going to learn 10 systems of improvisation, but on a very um, subconscious, subtle level, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do a study and then go, well, this is a one chord in D and then this is a passing chord and then this is a two chord in D or it could be the six chord in this key, you know, <clears throat> that just slows you down. If you, if you define everything, if you're one of these kind of people where you've got to define everything and control everything, Fine, go ahead and do it that way. But I'm telling you right now, it's going to slow you down. I've had people send me their CDs, and um, sometimes they just sound so stiff. You know, music and art is different than like you know buying a piece of furniture from IKEA and looking at step one through thirty. You know, you've got to let go. You got to let go of the control. You got to feed your subconscious musical file information. You need to have a reservoir of knowledge that your subconscious mind can draw from and then you can discover your own unique musical point of view. Okay, that, this went longer than I thought, and like I said, try to wrap your mind around this, because like I said, it's all based, a lot of it's based on neuroscience, it's based on the way we learn, and it's our, our subconscious mind is so powerful. They say it would take two buildings the size of the Empire State Building, full of computers, to have the potential of our own subconscious mind. Think about that, that's not bullshit, okay? So what I'm saying is that this, the guitar ladder system, if you, if you can trust my system, be positive, don't get negative, don't try to pick everything apart, don't try to figure it out, let go of the control, just play the studies and listen. You're going to make a quantum leap, um, but don't limit yourself, don't be results oriented because th this is, uh, it, it's also based on the science of neuroplasticity and the way that the subconscious mind learns. If you make it fun and you explore, and you don't put the pressure on yourself of results, you're going to learn a ton quicker. So a lot, besides coming up with the material that I've come up with over the last 40 years, I've come up with a system that might appear to be a little too simple in its presentation, but that's because I'm not putting up a bunch of roadblocks. If you, if you teach yourself to learn with formulas and this and that and control, then that's the way, you know, you're going to, you, it's like putting a, a steel block in front of the creativity. You want to open up the channel of creativity, open up the channel of flow of creative ideas to your own subconscious mind and the one mind or God or the source of the universe, whatever you want to call it. You want to open that channel up. And if you want to open the channel to musical creativity and you want to have some tremendous growth, 
my system will work for you. I'm going to stop right there. All right, everybody, take care. This guitar is so nice. I, I, just, I can't believe it. It just sounds, it sounds like a Super 400. You could pay like, you know, nine grand. See, it's got that mid-range. I'll do this guitar for three grand. It sounds just as good, if not better, than any Super 400 I've ever owned, and they only made two or three of these, Alvarez did. And sounds so nice. Anyway, if you want to take a quantum leap, I suggest go to stevesatguitars.com, invest the in $199, it'll be the best $199 you'll ever spend. And I hate to say this because it sounds so cheesy, but it's life-changing. It's going to be life-changing because you're going to discover, you're going to discover musical ideas that have been floating around your subconscious for a long time, but you can't find them because you don't have the foundation, you don't have the musical reservoir to find them. So, you know, I, I, I don't know what else to say. All right. That this, I hope, you know, chew on all this because it really works, folks. If you really want to make a lot of progress, the guitar ladder system will work for you. If you trust it, you're positive, you don't analyze it, just do the studies and let, let your own subconscious mind absorb those mantras. All right.